Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, get in the picture here. So uh, I'm making a, uh, I guess what you call a three berry mash. Uh, I went down to the local box store and the wife loves the three berry mix. So I just got the frozen berries, uh, raspberry, blackberry, and blueberries, uh, which are pretty good. Uh, mixed up, uh, I use these to measure out my sugar. Um, I basically poured sugar in here and stood on the bathroom scale and weighed it and came out to about six pounds. So if I fill it up to the top right here, it's, it's seven pounds. So these, these work good as my measuring, uh, thing. So we're going to do three bags each of, um, the three berry in each carboy. And um, I'm going to go ahead and heat some water up, which I have in here, uh, and pour some sugar in and melt that, get that melted in there, and uh, go, and then mix all these up, and then we'll pour it in, and we'll be good to go. These are frozen right now, so they'll cool down the sugar after I heat it up, I hope, and get going from there. All right, let me pour this in here. And I haven't hooked that up. Let me hook that up. Hang on for a second. All right, I'm back. All right, let's pour this in there. So I'm basically just going to pour the water in. Fired up. Let's turn it on. heat fired right up and we'll boil a little bit of water and then we'll pull the, pour the sugar in and then pour this in then I'll top off the water um, once I get everything together I didn't want to uh, fill it up totally with water because I'm going to have more more uh, surface area in here all right let me get this going All right, it's warming up. I think what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the berries in, get them warm because they're frozen. So I want to heat them up also. Get those started in here before I pour the sugar in. get those hot. Brought a spoon out with me. Stir those up. I just want them to thaw a little bit and soften up in the heat uh, before I pour the sugar in them. Right now it's, well, well it's, it's, the water's still hot. And we could probably put the sugar in with it. But down, honestly, I thought that was going to Cool it way down and didn't. Let me get you take a look at it. Over here. See what we got in here. So that's three bags. So that's 12 pounds of uh, the triple berry mix. Uh, raspberry, blueberry, and um, blackberries in there. So that's what we got right now. Pull the, pour, I'll let it reheat up and uh, do the sugar in a minute. All right. So that's warmed up. I don't know what the temperature is. I lost my thermostat. Hot's definitely hot. So let's go ahead and pour this in. Like I say, this is six pounds of sugar. We'll stir this up. Get it going. Okay. Then we'll have a good smash. 
Let it cool for a little bit before I pour it into the glass jars. Uh, I like these big glass jars. The, the big, the wide mouths are easy cleaning. Get in there, easy pouring. I'll have to see. I'm not sure I poured this pot in there, but I'm afraid with the berries, blueberries especially. That's why I wanted to. Oh, I'm probably not even in the frame. Uh, that's why I wanted to. Uh, Heat this up, heat the berries up, maybe break down the blueberries a little bit. Uh, or, yeah, the blueberries uh, in here. Get all them juices out. It'll probably melt it, I'm sure, the sugar. It was hot to the touch. Yeah. The raspberries definitely broke down. Go ahead and uh, you guys want to take a look at this real quick. Got the sugar in. Blueberries starting to float. Uh, let's bring you over here. You see all the, the blueberries floating to the surface now. So we'll go ahead and turn this off and let it cool down. Um, set you back down. And uh, please. Uh, so we'll let it run about two weeks or so, um, but please uh, hit the subscribe button and the like button on there. Uh, we're getting close to the uh, number YouTube wants uh, on there. So yeah, please uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. All right, we are back. This thing's cooled down a little bit. Let's see if we can get it in here without spilling too much. Ah. Oh, crap. This definitely needs two people. But, uh, all right. Let me try this again. We're, I can't lift it up this high, so we are going to move this. Move this out of the way. Let's see if we can do this without making a mess. And I know I got, let me get you back in the picture. Let's adjust that a little bit. All right, there we go. Sorry about that, but it is what it is. enough so in there bring this back over bring it up a little bit let's see you guys can see that boy that is full we'll get some Oop. yeah okay so and once I do the other one I'll get the yeast in here too that's still pretty warm uh, all right, let's leave that now. All right, so we got that one full. Let's put this one in the pot and mix the sugar up. And uh, of course, 
put these berries in here. Uh, well, that one was cooling. You know, I had the berries. Oops, big chunk there. Uh, I've taken them because they're frozen. They come frozen, and I've taken them out of the freezer as they melt those bags. They're not always the perfect uh, uh, seal perfectly, and they'll start dripping the juices. So I went ahead and cut those open, threw them in here while I was waiting for that other one to cool down and put in there. Um, I would have liked. Still a little warm, but. Not bad, I, uh, I need to find my thermostat, measure the temperature. I'm not sure if that's still a little hot or to throw the yeast in. It might not cool down, but let's get this one going. Um, get this up to temperature. And we'll have a second. Second batch going here. Okay, let that warm up a little bit and then we'll pour the sugar in. All right, that's kind of getting warm to the touch. So let's put some sugar in there and start mixing it. Because I'm not trying to boil the, the berries, I'm just, I just want to heat up the water to melt the sugar mainly. Um, get that process all going. There we go. So there's another six pounds here, and we'll stir that up a little bit and then let it cool off a little bit, and then I'll pour it into that second uh, carboy there on that. And then I'll put some yeast in it. We'll be good to go. That's great. I know the water is getting hot. Uh, apparently, the blueberries uh, don't float when the water's uh, a certain temperature, but as soon as the water starts warming up, the blueberries start floating up to the top of the surface. Let me show you. Let's see here. Yeah, see the blueberries are now at the they, when they first. I didn't show you. I should have. Uh, they were they were all sitting down on the bottom. So now. I don't know, it's it's getting warm to the touch, so, um, I don't know, maybe, what what is warm to the touch, 90 degrees or so on that, and then the blueberries float, uh, may have to Google that and see what that is, what causes that, just the heat of the water, or does the blue, blueberries start taking on a dis different uh, consistency? There we go. We'll let that melt and then we'll let it sit and cool off. And I'll pour it in that because my worst fear is getting it too hot and pouring it into that glass and then cracks or something. All right, hang on. <coughs> All right, let me adjust that a little better. There we go. All right, let's see if we can get the rest of this in here. Get it in here. Let's cool down a little bit, and of course. Nice to be able to pick this thing up. Ah. Now, like before, I need to sit on the ground. All right, grab one more time.
going to do level this out a little bit or even it out I should say Oop. what do I do with my little scooper get this It's going to take a little bit. Let me pause you guys. I get this. So I even this out. And then we'll put some yeast in it. Alright. I went ahead and got them evened out. They're good enough for government work. And let's get some yeast. So I've got this Eddie's yeast that I use. Put about a tablespoon in there. About all you really need. You don't need that much. I think actually when I first started this, and I bought those little packets, uh, there was like a teaspoon of yeast in each one of those packets. So, yeah, this is plenty on here. I think I got more in this one than I did that one. Maybe I just didn't get it stirred, but get it all moist and moving and going in there. We'll give her a couple weeks, usually it takes two weeks or so. And then we'll see what happens. All right, thank you guys and don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the like button. Thank you for watching.